Step functions are not only used to step from one constant to another constant, but can be used much more general. We will encounter two possibilities in this video. We can use them to shift the entire function to the left or to the right. This is how we encounter them in Laplace transforms and inverse Laplace transforms. So this application is most important for us. We can also use them to start a function later. So set the first part of a function to zero and then continue, so without shifting. In the context of Laplace transforms, this second type is not very convenient for us. And at the end of the video, we will show though that we can sometimes rewrite the second type in terms of shifted functions, so as the first type. Let us see how this works, how this is done in this video. So we will start with shifting functions. We need to take some g of t, e to the power t over 2, and then we shift this function entirely uh, one step to the right, and we get our h of t, which is this same function, but now shifted one uh, unit to the right. So h of t starts as 0, and then as t equals 1, we start with our e power, but we start at this value over here. So effectively, if you write it as a function, we get e to the power t minus 1 over 2. And we can use our u1, our step function, to write down h of t. h of t equals u1 of t times uh, g at t minus 1. So that is how we can use our step functions to write our uh, shifted functions. So, one example for, about shifted functions, suppose we have f of t equals the sine of t, and then at t equals pi over 4, uh, we also add a, a cosine, so we have a cosine of t minus pi over 4, so at t equals pi over 4 we add a shifted cosine to the function. Now we can rewrite this function f of t as sine of t plus u pi over 4 of t, so the step function stemming from 0 to 1 at pi over 4, times cosine of t minus pi over 4. So this cosine of t minus pi over 4 uh, makes sure that we have shifted the cosine. Another option is of course to start functions later. That you say, okay, I have again my e to the power t over 2, but uh, now first I want to have it 0, and then I jump, so I just discard this first part over here, and suddenly I jump to the e to the power t over 2. In that case, we have a function which is basically starting later. So f of t equals u1 of t times g of t equals u1 of t times e to the power t over 2. So now this uh, function is not shifted, but just started later. The first part is just set to 0. So an example of that would be that g of t, again, we have the sine of t uh, for t between 0 and pi over 4. And then you add a cosine. But uh, the cosine starting at a uh, cosine of pi over 4. So that would be our function where your g of t has a function which is basically starting later. In that case, your g of t would be again the sine, again the u pi over 4 of t, but now times the cosine of t. So they are quite, quite similar. So here you have the cosine of t, here the cosine of t minus pi over 4, and the t mi minus pi over 4. Make sure that you're shifting the entire function instead of just starting later. Now this first uh, type of functions is more useful for us in the Laplace transform context. And sometimes we can rewrite the second functions in terms of the first ones. So let's do that as an example for the second example. Because note that we have cosine of t. Uh, we can rewrite this because cosine of t equals cosine of t minus pi over 4 plus pi over 4. So that's cosine, cosine, minus sine, sine is the uh, formulas, uh, the trigonometric formulas. Uh, so the cosine pi over 4 equals 1 half square root of t times cosine time t minus pi over 4. Sine pi over 4 is also 1 half square root of t. So here we have a sine of t minus pi over 4. So now we can rewrite our function g of t, sine plus the cosine, as a sine plus a shifted cosine and a shifted sine. So in this case, 
we have related a function which started later as a function which was uh, uh, moved entirely. So sometimes we can re rewrite this sort of useless second type of functions into the useful first ones.